edgy jokes. When is it okay? Where's the limit? A third thing, I'm a white guy and that gives me the authority to tell you when it's okay to tell an edgy joke. I'm a special kind of white guy. <laughs> Picture this, you're an impressionable wee little baby Rory. You go to a friend's house, they're watching South Park. You see Mr. Hanky the Christmas Pooh. It's innocent, it's cute. The joke is poo poo doo doo caca. That's fine, you know? But then again, there's gonna be like a terrorist joke or something that maybe is like, huh. A lot of people say there's stuff you could do before that you couldn't get away with today, like Little Britain and stuff like that. But why would you wanna do it again? It's already been done. I mean, shock value jokes, once you've done them all, it's kind of like, there's no shock anymore. What appeals about a shocking joke... It's nothing. No, what appeals about a shocking joke is it isn't true. That's what, like, the main thing of any joke is. Let's say if I make a joke saying, I'm really cool. That's funny because I'm not really cool. If I'm a bit cool, it's really funny because I'm exaggerating how cool I am. The untruthfulness of something is what makes it funny. Here's where it kind of brings me into it why I've been thinking about it a lot. I feel like there's certain things in my vocabulary I call myself, for example, a re <laughs> This already feels wrong. It's not really fair to make fun of people with disabilities just because I consider myself someone with like a learning disability. That doesn't give me the, the place to like bring everybody else down. The way I've been thinking about it is what really is the point of a joke? It's to put people at ease, it's to make them laugh, it's to make them feel funny. If someone like had a disability that was very clear and visual, you could definitely make fun of yourself and that would give everyone a laugh and no one's hurt because you made the joke. I get edgy jokes are really fun, but you know, it's just like people aren't going to be that comfortable and it's just stuff you don't want in your vocabulary. If people like come around and they see you said something in past and you feel really bad about it because you're not you weren't making it to hurt anyone's feelings but you know the way i see it sounds like a duck looks like a duck they're probably going to think it's a duck isn't it or a man in a very convincing duck costume so comedy comes in threes as you saw before so i've come up with like a kind of a little three system and it's like a way of thinking in your head like is this joke a little bit too far so the first one privilege and identity more rather than what you identify as, it's what people can identify you as. So for me, like, I'm just like a white guy, but I'm bisexual, so I can make jokes about being gay and that's appropriate. And my friends around me by proxy, they can make jokes about that to me, because they know I'm comfortable with it. They know it's, and I find it funny, you know? Being gay is pretty funny. It's literally sucking on a penis. And by privilege, I mean, if you're a part of a minority group, you're Asian, you're black, you're living somewhere like the UK, that like gives you the extent to make fun of yourself and also like white people and everything above that. And I feel like some people might feel like, oh, that's not fair because I'm white and I don't get to make fun of anything. You're going to get fucking shot if you're black in America. Come on, give them a break. Let them, give them something. Two, world events. I think I've joked one or two many times about these ones, probably quite recently as well. But you don't know who has family who's died in some event. Like anything that's like, Titanic and before, that's all good. If you're a Vietnamese person, joke away about the Vietnam War all you like, that's great. Do you want to stay away from the stereotypes though? <laughs> so yeah, just anything like 9-11 onwards, avoid that. You don't know who knows someone who might have family who's gone kaplonk and that. If you're making jokes about it and you know nobody about is like that, or it's like you're making fun of the people who did the attack, you're making fun of the school shooter. That's pretty good, that's good karma for you buddy. Yeah! You always punch up as much as you can. And now here's the third fun one. It's called yourself and someone else. If you did something bad and you make fun of it, that's a great way of putting people at ease, I think. Let's say one day I got really angry for like no reason and I punched my friend in the face. And then like a few days later, it's like someone jokes like, oh, Rory's at it again. He's going for another right hook. That's funny because it's like, oh, that's something I did wrong before that I've apologized for. And because I've apologized for it, I show up like, oh, I want to make amends for that, you know? And like, if you go with that joke, people are gonna like you for it. Like, it, it puts people at ease, it's nice. If someone else does something like uncool, like, you know, they like punch down at like a group, like let's say you're making fun of someone else being racist, that's good. You're using jokes to make racism bad. When I'm with like close with friends, 
I feel like we can joke about just about anything because everybody's in the know about these things. But if you're doing anything like on YouTube or anything online, I think I've done things too many times where it's been a bit inappropriate. And like, if I've ever hurt someone's feelings about that, you can message me about it. I'm sorry. That, and like, it's not me saying like, oh, I fixed it by saying sorry now. It's like, I'm gonna try and do better. I wanna show by my actions. I wanna create like a more comfortable, like fun environment. So when people come into this, they'll see like, oh, he's just, he's having a laugh. He's having fun. Like, I'm gonna try and give it clearer context from now on. Because you've got to think about it. I can't remember what it's called. It's called like pose law or something. If you post something on the internet sarcastically, there is someone out there who's gonna think you're being serious. Shit like that happens on 4chan all the time. Next thing you know, you've got some crazy conspiracy theorists on your hand. And that's no fun. And you're welcome to completely disagree with me. There's plenty of comedians out there who I feel like do a really good job of making edgy jokes. But the context is there already. People who are like outward about how they vote and what they do. And people disagree with them all the time. And it's fine. That dialogue's happening. That's good. But yeah, generally just, I don't know. I could be wrong also. Equal rights, equal fights. It's okay to leave your dog.